Hi, my name is Mr. Chong. Welcome to my study room. Today we are solving question 14 of WASI 2022 core or general mathematics paper. And the question reads, Mary has $3 more than Ben, but $5 less than Jane. If Mary has X dollars, how much does Jane and Ben have all together? This is obviously a word problem which sometimes poses challenges to students. So what we are going to do is that we are going to analyze this problem and identify the basic facts from it. Then we can use the facts to answer the question. So the facts in this question are that we are talking about three people, Mary, Ben, and then Jane. Then this question is in such a way that we don't know specifically how much each of them has. But then the question tries to establish the relationship between the amount they have. That means if we know how much one of them has, we we'll use the relationship between that to determine what the others also have. Unfortunately, that information has been provided here. That is Mary's amount. Is that if Mary has X dollars, so this has been given to us by only that. They haven't given that the actual amount. The X only means that a certain amount that we decide to represent with the variable X so that we find it later. But that is a very important information because this information can help us to establish the relationship between them. So let's write that first, then we develop this relationship. Right. So now that we represented Mary's amount with X, we can now use that to get Ben's share. And that is from the, the first part of the sentence here that Mary has $3 more than Ben. And let's say this. If Mary has $3 more than Ben, then it means that Mary's share is Ben's share plus $3. But instead of writing that, you can also write Ben's share as Mary's share minus $3. And I would like to write it that way rather. So Ben's share is going to be Mary's share minus $3. Right. So Ben's share is Mary's share minus 3 because Mary has 3 more. So it means that when we take that 3 out of Mary's share, it will give us Ben's share. Then let's get to the second part, which is but five less than Jane. It means that this Mary share here, X, is five dollars less than Jane's own. It means that Jane's share minus five dollars is going to give us Mary's share. So if Jane's share minus five dollars is going to give us Mary's share, it means that Jane's share is Mary's share plus five dollars. And that is what I want to write. So Jane will be Mary's share, which is X plus five dollars. I, I put the dollars out because each of them is in dollars and I don't want to repeat the dollars for each of them. Right. So this is what we have. Now we have been able to express the information here in terms of Mary's share. Ben share and Jane share. Now the question we are looking for is how much that Jane and Ben have all together. So this is Ben and this is Jane. All together in word problem is we are adding. So it means that we are going to have x minus 3 plus x plus 5 and this is going to give us x plus x minus 3 plus 5. And this will give us 2x plus 2. And that is option D, the answer for this question. I hope this has been of help to you. If yes, then kindly consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you.